I'm Leon Davis, I'm an engineer. Sport's always been a massive part of my life. Cricket, football, you name it, I love it really. And it's something I want to pass on to my kids. Lyle, my youngest, is a sport mad like me, to be honest. It's the be all and end all to her. Keeping active has always been part of my life. I've always felt absolutely invincible, like I can run forever. I first started noticing something was wrong. I started getting chest pains, and then I started being sick. It went on for about three weeks, and I turned around my wife and said, I'm going to hospital. I'm Dr Sajid Khan. I'm a consultant cardiologist, and I work at Chelsea and Westminster NHS Foundation Trust in London. I also am one of the clinical leads for innovation at the Trust. So one of the things I'm really interested in is technology and things that improve the care for patients, but also the experience for staff. Healthcare is a rapidly and ever-evolving field. In order to improve the experiences and the outcomes, we need to be able to use the best technology that's out there and to continually look for new and better ways to do things. The surgical wards are a particular area of focus. Increasingly, we look after more and more complex post-procedure, post-operative patients. Globally, the data show us that 4.2 million people die in the 30 days after surgery. That's an awful statistic, and it's something that we as a healthcare community really need to try and focus on. So I went to the hospital, and next thing I know, I'm in a hospital bed. They did an ECG, found something irregular. My heart was going up and getting stuck at its max, like 150. I was petrified, to be honest. It just didn't seem normal that all my life I've been so healthy, so focused on fitness, that this had happened to me. That first night, I was so scared, I can't explain. Never been that scared in my life, ever. Traditionally, the amount of data that's available to clinicians on general ward areas relies very much on spot checks, and those spot checks might happen only every six to 12 hours. I think that's an area that's really ripe for improvement and potentially where technology has a key role to play. Portrait Mobile is a wearable technology that essentially allows you to get hospital level monitoring and care whilst you're walking around the hospital. So instead of having to be confined to a particular space or a particular area, you can get on with moving, which is really important to your recovery, and not worry that you're missing healthcare or checks that are important. The respiratory rate is really hard to record accurately, and essentially the dual vector technology gives us at least two chances of getting the right answer. Any technologies that lets patients be mobile and therefore stop losing that muscle mass is something we should definitely be embracing and using. Psychologically, it was great to wear because you felt so much more secured. After 20 minutes, you kind of forgot it was there. It was fine, but you had that comfort the whole time in the back of your mind. It just gave you that assurance that you will be a monitor 24-7. At the end of the day, care is about a human-to-human -human interaction. What we don't want is for carers to be spending a lot of their time doing routine things that don't add value for the patient. Connected technology really lets us have time back and we can use that time to actually care, to do what we were trained to do and what patients deserve and need. Knowing that someone was monitoring him at all times was making me feel better about it. Calms your mind a bit, reassured you. I've had the surgery, I've got my life back basically. I can play with my kids again without any fears or worries that I'll have an episode. I still have that element of feeling human now. I've been shown that I'm not invincible, but I still kind of feel invincible deep down inside. Oh, <laughs> I think I always will. Cool.